Hi everyone, and welcome back to Kira's Workshop. While watching The Princess and the Frog a while ago, I got really inspired by the character of Dr. Facilier. So, today I'm transforming Justin Dancer into a voodoo witch doctor. If you follow me on Instagram, you might remember this concept art I made a while ago. Also, I decided to replace the crow headpiece for a feather headdress. So, let's get started. This Justin Dancer doll had been resting in peace in my stock box for a while now, and finally she's getting a face off. First of all, I'm removing the factory paint with a Q-tip and pure acetone. And then, I'm cleaning up the excess paint with some paper and more acetone. Don't forget to wash your doll's face to remove the excess of acetone. After spraying the doll with one coat of sealant, I'm marking the skull mask with a light pencil. As I want the mask to look like it's broken, I'm being a little rough with the tracing lines. Don't forget to mark the eyes and the nose too. Once the contour of the mask is ready, I'm painting inside the lines with some white acrylic paint. In order to avoid some brush strokes, mix the paint with some water. To achieve a fully opaque white color, you may need to apply from 3 to 4 coats. This will depend on how sheer your paint turns. I used 3 coats. Once the paint is dry, we can start working on the eyes. This time I'm going for grey eyes, as I want her to have a cold stir. I'm using different shades of grey to create luminosity on her eyes. With black pencil, I'm contouring the eyes and painting her lips. Then I'm going to start marking the upper teeth of the mask. And with grey pencil, I'm creating some cracks. I'm trying to create a 3D look by coloring the contour of the mask, eyes and the nose.
after my mask is ready, with black acrylic paint, I fill the eyes and also the nose. Then I spray the doll one more time to retouch the eyes. As I've done before, with a pin and white acrylic paint, I'm putting up the shines. Let's go for the body this time. Using silver and gold pencils, I'm marking some simple tattoos on her chest, abs, arms and legs which I'm going to fill with acrylics later. I really want to thank you for all your feedback on my last video and some of you asked me to record the process of the wardrobe so here we go I'm using black lace to create a top I wanted to have a hard cleavage so I'm stitching the bottom of the lace and secure it by using some snaps My concept design has this long African neck piece, but Ever After High dolls don't have a very long neck, so I'm using chains to create her a simple necklace. For the bottom part, I'm recycling this leather piece I made for another doll a while ago. This simple teacut is very useful to make some underwear. I put some snaps on each corner. And with the same leather, I cut two long pieces for it to look like a loincloth. For the front part, I'm stitching the closest to the edge as possible. And in the middle, I'm sewing this charm. This was actually an earring. I discovered that old accessories are very useful to make some props for your dolls. These are all my pieces together. All that's left is to glue up some lashes and we're done.
I actually bought the headpiece like that in my crafting store and only glued the gem on the center. The scepter is borrowed from another doll I customized in the past. I really want to thank you for all your support on Victoria's video and helping my channel to grow so fast. Once I reach 500 subscribers or followers on Instagram, I'm making a unique doll for a giveaway. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram to know how to win, the link's down below. If you like this video, go give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Until the next time!